I'm a big advocate of the idea that your legacy begins today. And I think that the perfect present that we have been given and granted by God is this present day, this present moment. Now, sometimes we can get caught in looking back or looking forward and kind of end up floundering in the in-between. And, and, and so as one year ends and another opens, it's a natural junction for reflection, looking back. Yeah, we how have the last 365 days stacked up? What moves have we made towards fulfilling that creative call in Christ that we have and we feel burning in our heart? And, and of course, the closing days also encourage a forthright future view looking forward. And But as I say, the danger is sometimes we stand at this junction, maybe even with regrets for what's gone or pining for what once was, or on the other hand, stretching our view to some future hope with a wistful longing and get lost in the in-between, really not recognizing the amazing opportunity that is right before us in this present moment. You know, the, the past is there to inform the present. And the future ultimately is going to be populated with the ideas and the actions that we choose to take right now. You know, the present moment is really the best present that heaven has given you. It's the gift that you've been given. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed next year, the next five, the next 10. You know, sometimes... There's nothing wrong with goal setting, but sometimes if our goals are set way out there in the future and we don't actually harness and take a hold of the present as if it were our last moment on the planet, sometimes we can procrastinate for so long that we never actually take the actions that we know we need to take to not just become who we know God has called us to be, but to actually just flat out be that person. You know, it may not be a perfect or mature version, but honestly, you are the best you you can possibly be right now, not in some unforeseen future date, right now, today. You know, it's really this very moment is where you begin to build whatever legacy you plan to leave. What, what decisions are you going to make today fueled by the lessons you've learned in the last 365 days? Or, or spill your, with growing wisdom. What are you going to spill into tomorrow and the 364 days that follow that tomorrow? You, legacy is really not something that happens by accident. It's the accumulated value that you consistently lay on the table through your intentional, intentional obedience to Christ's direction today. Let me say that again. Legacy is the accumulated value you consistently lay on the table through your intentional obedience to Christ's direction today. Now, here are some signposts. Maybe you are there at that junction. Maybe you are there at that crossroads. Behind you, you've got whatever has happened in these past year or past years. Whatever lays before you, all of the hopes that you carry, the dreams that you have uh, aching in your heart, the desires that are stretching out before you, maybe even some of the things that you're fearful of. All of that lays before you. It's uncharted territory in many ways, but you do have this very moment. And I want to just throw some, uh, some signposts that I'm looking at right here as I stand at that same junction as you. Romans 8 verse 28 in the Amplified Bible. We are assured, and by we, I mean you and me. We are assured and know that God, being a partner in our labor, all things work together and are fitting into a plan for good to and for those who love God, that's you and me, and are called according to his design and purpose. My dear creative friend, 
you are of God's design. You are living, you are called according to his design and his purpose. And all things are working together and are fitting into a plan for good for you. And then uh, Ephesians 2 verse 10, Amplified Bible again, another incredibly beautiful scripture and one that I cite many, many times. It's actually the very first scripture I ever committed to memory. This is the Amplified version of that scripture. For we are God's own handiwork, his workmanship, recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew that we may do those good works which God has predestined and planned beforehand. Here we go again. There is a plan, my dear friend. There is a plan. F uh, the, those good works which God has predestined, planned beforehand for us, taking paths which he has prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life, which he has prearranged and made ready for us to live. Now, let's be real. This doesn't mean that the path is going to be easy uh, or that all of your cherished hopes will miraculously fall into painless place. It doesn't mean that there won't be challenges, but you are fitted to fight the battle and to overcome. It means that you're formed to fill your place and stake your claim. No devil can stop you. And if God be for you, which he is, who can stand against you? God, my dear brother, my sister, my creative friend, is a partner in your labor. And your obedient steps today will plant the seeds that will bless generations to come. Well, thanks for listening. Hopefully uh, it's been an encouragement to you today. If you want to connect any further, you can do so through my website at davidleemartin.com. Have a great day.